be working with members of that organization as well as staff from uh, Lincoln CMC. Uh, you know, wellness is all about the little decisions that we make every single day. Um, you know, do I get the sweet tea or do I drink the water? Do I get a chocolate bar or do I eat the fruit? Do I take the stairs or the elevator? You know, in, in and of themselves, it seems like insignificant decisions. But when you put them all together, you know, day by day and year by year, they can really make a huge difference in our lives and in our future health. And that's what wellness is all about, just trying to make the best decision that we can each day to promote optimal health. Now there's one decision that we can all easily make, and that's to have an annual basic health screening uh, along with blood work. You know, it's one of the <coughs> easiest ways to identify health risks early on, and that's to get an annual screening. Uh, treatment is great, and thank goodness for it, but if you can prevent a medical issue from even occurring, that's even better, and it's certainly less costly. Now, Towers and Watson, um, they're a global consulting firm. They recently just published their 17th annual healthcare study, and they found that the one thing that the nation's most consistent employers were doing to contain healthcare costs was to, de to develop a workforce culture, or basically a mindset, where employees are accountable for their own health. So I do think we need to help encourage employees to do their part in maintaining health care costs and help the city maintain a competitive insurance benefit package. And again, an easy way to do that is simply to participate in an annual health screening. Um, however, we know that only about one half of our workforce utilizes our wellness benefit. And it's a wonderful benefit that the city is already paying for. Um, and we should all take advantage of it. But Sometimes we just don't. Um, so, you know, how are we going to encourage employees to be accountable? And that's where I want to talk to you about this new wellness incentive. Um, it offers a biometric screen, which is your blood workup, along with blood pressure reading, height, weight, and body mass index measurements. Now, after the initial screening has been completed and all of that data has been stratified into a report form, everyone would come back and meet with a health coach to discuss the results of their screening. Now at that time, we would find out if we've been identified with any type of health risk factor, such as um, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or weight issues. Now if health risks were identified, we would be referred to one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching sessions with a health coach who is also a registered nurse um, through the Carolina's healthcare system. And this person is also certified to talk about nutrition and exercise. So they're gonna be able to talk to the employees about a broad range of wellness issues, not just a particular um, health risk factor. Now, the employee would see the same health coach each visit so that hopefully a bond and a sense of trust could be developed. And um, these health coaches they are not intended to take the place of someone's personal physician, but to complement an already existing medical relationship. Um, they act as a partner to help keep the employee on track with their goals and to help monitor changes in the progress that uh, the employee makes. They would help the employee to create that mindset that's necessary to, to basically heighten personal awareness <coughs> in order to make these lifestyle changes because this is long-term, um, it's not a, a short-term fix. And we realize that we're going to have some employees that are already under the care of a physician and are getting regular blood work done. But this health coach is trained to discuss not only medical issues, but they have an overall wellness focus. So even these employees will benefit by being seen by a health coach if they're identified with risks. You know, I see it as kind of a win-win situation because the employee has access to a health professional to be able to talk about achieving <coughs> overall long-term health. Now, these coaching sessions would take place throughout the year up to a total of four sessions. Now, if you don't have any health risk factors, 
identified in that initial screening, you would have one coaching session, and then you're finished for the year. Um, this health coaching piece is what's new for our wellness program, and it does seem to be the trend in a lot of material that we've been reading. There seems to be two things that a lot of folks are doing, municipalities and counties, and it's either putting in this health coaching piece or it's setting up an on-site employee clinic. Now this is a voluntary program and you know it's our desire that every employee would want to take part in the screening because it's one of the easiest ways to identify health risks early on. Now if they choose not to participate in the program, a non-discounted premium rate would be applied effective July 2013, not this coming July, but a year from this July. <coughs> Say that last statement one more time. Please. If, if they decide not to participate in the screening, then what we're considering a non-discounted premium rate would be applied effective July 2013. If they, so if they just don't, the screening. If they don't participate in the program, which would be so the screening, screening and, and the coaching. coaching. Yes, yes. Okay. Now that rate is approximately 3% of the monthly premium for the specific type of coverage that the employee has. And it would be it would be the employee's responsibility to pay that premium. Now, if they choose to participate, they receive a discounted premium rate, which costs nothing. So ultimately, there's really no reason why anyone should have to pay the non-discounted rate. However, it is a choice. So if you as mayor and council approve this initiative, I think you're making a statement about the city's commitment to improve employee health and about the employee's personal responsibility for their own health and at the same time trying to contain insurance costs, which we all have a responsibility to do. You know, as I said, this is not a quick fix solution. It's long term and I think we're all going to have to work together and all be accountable for our own health in order to continue to enjoy this benefit in the future. So in closing, I'd like to recommend that you adopt this wellness initiative to be effective July 1st, 2012. And I'll be glad to try to answer any questions that you might have. Are there any questions for the sir? This basic cost, 8640 Yes, sir. This is, that has not changed. So that's the same as the plan we're currently on that cost. That's roughly the same. The eight thousand, the eight thousand dollar cost would be for the coaching piece, yeah. and that was included in my, in a wellness line item back in our meeting in February. Is there any other cost associated with the implementation of this program? There. I'm sorry. The, the only thing I would think is that the, we're going to allow the employee during the work day to do the coaching. So I guess someone could say there's a loss of work time possible. There is uh, a $15 uh, per employee cost that's for the initial coaching, but that is something that we already have funds for in a wellness loan item, so I did not need to request any extra funding for. And that's $15 per person that participates in the coaching? Yes. Does the overall program, the wellness,